up guys back at it again going back to the vehicle oh man it is cold you guys will notice when it, when the time comes and the snow hits that uh videos might be shorter um because i won't have much time doing it all and uh you know i have to drive super slow coming here or else uh, you know i'm gonna die you know i just don't want to risk it so uh fyi inspiration comes at a price and a time <laughs> but uh you know the good thing is is that i'm back at it doing it and uh oh cool that's a cool mustang look at that mustang pretty nice i never wanted a mustang growing up <clears throat> all i ever wanted was uh, a nissan maxima uh because I, I when i was younger i uh I bought one from my sister, and, uh, yeah, that didn't turn out well, uh, I had, I had a bunch of my, uh, basketball and baseball cards in there in a, in a shoe box, and, uh, she got rid of the car, and I loved that car. Like, I loved it, but I wasn't even, I didn't have a job, really, during then, but she sold the car underneath me without me knowing about it, and all my stuff was in it. Like, everything that I had in there was gone, and she didn't even care, she didn't even call to ask, she didn't even look in the vehicle, like, I, I honestly don't know what, what transpired over that, and that sucked, but... That's life, you know, and now I got a piece of shit car, but it runs and it takes me where I need to go and, uh, it's keeping me safe and no matter how bad or crappy it is, you know, I, there's nothing I can do about it. So got to keep chugging along and, uh, you know, doing this Amazon eBay side thing, like, uh, you know. I keep saying this is going to take a long time. Um, I think I have more patience than most people. So, as long as I know that this is going to work, uh, or is working, I'm going to continue to do it. Like, that's just the way that it goes. I mean, I like, say, example, I lose my job. I have to use that money for bills. I mean, that's just what I have to do until I can actually, you know, have enough money to support my family. So, like, that's just what it is. Um, but the good thing is, is that uh, it's not happening yet. Um, I am trying to actively make it to where... They have nothing on me. Uh, I know it sounds kind of bad, but it's like I have to. I have to get in this mindset myself that you know every day is going to be different, but it's always the same. I always call it Groundhog Day for some reason. I don't know why. It just for me, it just feels like that. Things change, and they're always going to change. So I know that. But it still seems like the same day to me. Uh, people get older. People do different things. People have experiences. But yet yeah, they wake up the next day, hopefully. Um, and, you know, it's just another day. And, and I don't think a lot of people, you know, look at it like that. Like they just, oh, wow, i got to do this and do that. Not this and that, not, not. You know, and, and, and it. It, it encompasses their life and instead of just looking at it from a different perspective like okay this is what's going on today I know what I'm doing let's take it easy let's make sure it's all you know hopefully positive and uh, stay away from the negative negative. and if you can't avoid it you know make light of it that's how I do it. I don't, I don't know how, how else to explain it. I just, I make light of almost everything. 
so I don't freak out. Because if I freak out, the whole thing crumbles. I just mean like at home, like I have to be the, the calm, rational, uh, optimistic person at home because if there's negativity, you know, it, it kind of makes itself bigger. So, you know, creating the uh, positive atmosphere in your own home it really does wonders like your kids pick up on it they know it they can see it they feel it they sense it they might not know how to explain or express everything that they you know they that they go through but I try I, I, I tell my kids I'm like you know your words if you don't know how to explain something do it the best you can so that way we can talk it out like it's just it's easier to uh, get what you feel out uh, so that way people understand you because I, I always say to people like you never you're never going to know how someone is feeling really until they say it and even though I could sense that someone just by looking at them the way that they they walk and talk and and uh, their, their mannerisms uh, the things that they do like without even paying attention to it, without anyone surrounding them like you can tell what people are going through for the most part maybe not exactly but you can tell when someone is sad or upset or mad or, or distraught or, or hurt you know like you can tell like maybe it's just me I don't know uh, I, I spent a lot of time growing up just watching other people um, and you can tell, like, even YouTubers, uh, when they make their videos, you can tell people when they're fake. Like, you, you can see it. Well, I, maybe it's just me, but you can see when someone's fake and they're just playing a part instead of just being themselves. Uh, for me, it's just... A script doesn't make you you. It, it makes you someone else, so... But yeah, I've got a couple items got to send out tomorrow. Uh, only three items I got to send out tomorrow uh, through Merchant Fulfilled. So I think I'm up to like 35, almost 40. I, I hope I make that. That uh, well, I know I've already passed the 25. I hope I made the deadline, um, and. I want to know what actually comes with that at, when I when I accomplish that feat. Um, I'm not sure if things open up for me. I'm not sure if I'm ungated in a lot of products because I met that threshold. I, I'm not sure how how it all works. This is my first year doing it. So the good thing is is I don't have to sell any more merchant fulfilled. Uh, and it'd just be a lot easier just to get the crap out of my house so my wife would not be upset at me about having stuff in the house. I do I do still have some big items I'm just going to have to merge and fulfill and uh, hopefully get some boxes from uh, work uh, that, so I can send them to people. I might have to buy some brown tape to cover over uh, writing and labels and, and barcodes and stuff so it doesn't look so crappy because I'm using a Sharpie you know, to cover over, over most of that. Uh, but I also do have some uh, white uh, 4x6 stickers I can just stick on there. I know it's not brown, but oh well, I do what I got, you know. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's still going, guys. And uh, if you're watching, please, please take this into consideration that uh, ev everything that I'm doing is what I'm doing. Um, I don't want everyone to say or do exactly the things that I do because it might not work for them um, because of situations and, and the way that they, they live and everything else so you know but doing something else to help better your situation is always a better outcome uh, at least it seems that way right now but uh, thanks for watching guys I'll talk to you later peace out